morning. I'm a state certified instructor. I teach driver's education. I've been teaching teens and adults 21 years. I'm going to go ahead and talk about a dangerous road. The temperature is uh, 20 degrees. We have ice on all sides of the road. You want to reduce your speed and drive slow. This is an inside view today. I have both hands on the wheel. Um, what you need to do as a beginning driver, you don't want to make sharp steering movements. You want to be smooth. You can look at this groove that I'm in where uh, cars have been driving and I can clearly see. I'm scanning the intersection, the countdown timers down to four. So I'm maintaining good speed control. You'll see cars and trucks driving at a really high rate of speed. For instance, this person in this truck that's passing me on the left, they're going really fast. That could put us in danger. So what do you need to do as a driver, as a beginning driver? You need to take your time. You see all that snow and dust they're kicking up? That's gonna end up causing all of us to speed out and you want to be very careful and this is a great teachable moment so you want to be smooth and intentional with your movement and this is a great uh, view of what these conditions are like you've got to make sure you have a full tank of gas you have to have the proper clothes I'm gonna go ahead and get over one lane to the right mirror turn signal blind spot you do not want to be in anyone's uh, you know, tail end where that snow and ice is kicking up. You want to be able to have clear vision all the time. And that's what I have right now. And you want to be smooth. The white line to the right is called the edge line. This is allows you to see the right edge of the road. Whenever you make a lane change, you want to be really smooth, very careful. So I have my blinker on, I'm looking over my shoulder. Again, this is an inside view. I'm nice and smooth. And then I'm easing off the gas a little bit. I'm looking in the middle, I'm looking left, I'm looking right. Most people drive in the two right lanes because they are clean and, and plowed. The lane to the left is more snow and ice. And hopefully you can see this really well. Now I'm lifting my foot a little bit because I'm in slower moving traffic. This is called a wolf pack. And either you wanna be ahead of the pack or behind the pack. And if you look at everyone, we're all about the same speed. You can see that car with the blind spot detector ahead of us that just lit up. You do not wanna be in cars blind spots. That truck that passed us, they're probably going about 100 miles an hour. In these conditions, that is very unhealthy. The middle lane is the smooth lane. Uh, we will have something called black ice because the temperature is below freezing. And whenever you have conditions like this, you wanna maintain smooth speed control, smooth steering, and you wanna look ahead as far as possible. You do not wanna be on top of cars. And you can tell by the sound. I want you to listen to this. And I do have the windows heated. We have the interior defrost on. And I'm gonna take my time. So I often get the questions about, you know, what do beginning drivers do? How do you handle this? You wanna be very patient. You wanna be very deliberate in your movements. And you wanna take your time. And this is what I need you to understand because people are always uh, making decisions and we make 200 observations and one uh, potential error that could cause a near collision like that Jeep up there that passed me on the right and that's cut over in the middle. So the biggest reason why people speed, excuse me, I gotta clean the windows. And that reminds me, you need to have plenty of windshield washer solvent because if you don't, then your windows will end up not being able to get cleared and then you're gonna have a horrible uh, trip but you can see, see that person now? So I'm just taking my time. You see what happens? So I'm just taking my time. This is real life. So now you have people who are driving very slow, very dangerous. We almost had an accident. People are flying through here. Are you learning? You see this person almost hit me? They're going too fast. So what did you just learn? Take your time. Don't go fast here. That Jeep almost rear-ended me. And you want to be careful. You want to take your time. I'm so happy you saw this. So you have to stay in control of your car. These conditions here are very slick and icy. So apparently there was a uh, car.
car going very slow. Look, see that Jeep up there making poor decisions is going to cause all of us death. And that person, so usually what happens, people are driving too fast for the conditions, like that truck, like these trucks, and people get crazy. So apparently that vehicle behind us, which was a slower driver, looks like an elderly person, was probably going about 30 miles an hour, or 40 miles an hour. And you could argue, well, it's really bad out here. Why are people speeding? So um, all of a sudden the car in front of me almost rear-ended them and they swerved out of the way, no blinker, no nothing. And then I squeezed the brake, then slammed the brake. So you will see from this what you need to do. So I'm looking ahead and just being smooth um, and not letting those situations spook you out which they can do. And often you'll see situations like this that will cause chain reaction accidents. So yeah, my heart was beating. Um, I didn't panic. I didn't feel like I was going to hit the driver. I just slowed down as much as possible. I made a defensive maneuver to the left. I didn't get crazy and the person behind me almost hit me. So people are going to fast for the conditions on the road and as a result their accident so the middle lane is the smooth lane you can go in the lane to the right I would not probably go in the lane to the left unless I had to and I'm just being really smooth and steady if I feel the car slide I lift my foot I'm not panicking or overturning it's taking my time so I hope this was helpful Hopefully you learned a real life situation. Don't panic, reduce your speed. If this brought you value, subscribe to my channel, give it a thumbs up and learn. I do a lot of driving tutorials, so I wanna say thank you. What's going on guys? This is a great teacher for a moment. We have really dangerous weather right now. We have a semi truck to our right. We have about a mile. Speaking of cars, that vehicle is going way too fast for the conditions on the road. And whenever you have drivers like this who are careless and reckless, they're gonna end up putting us all in danger. Um, I'm at about 50 miles an hour. The speed limit here is 70. So you wanna drive at a speed that is reasonable and safe.